Okay, um, my webcam isn't turned on, but I'm not going to worry about that. This is a quick tip for you and for me to remember uh, a bug in OpenTunes that has to do with resizing your canvas, and you want to get it set in your head what to do, because if you forget, it'll be really, really frustrating. So let's um, start out by drawing a character. Let's just draw a little character here. Okay, and we're going to give ourselves 30 seconds to draw a character. Okay. Now, my character sees something over yonder that concerns my character. Okay, and so now we've got a situation where we started out with a drawing that was a given size, and he's going to look over this way, and there's going to be a camera move and just for the sake of argument let's assume that what we really want is we realize too late that we really wanted the drawing to be bigger like this we want it to be almost double the size well it'd be four times the size if you doubled it in both dimensions but okay so that we have the ability to either move the camera or we could obviously take the A key and do a a pan like this so some stuff that was you know some business over here in the corner needs to come into the frame the problem is the the frame isn't big enough on the raster level well if you follow the manual the manual will say that you can resize the canvas which is level canvas size and frankly uh, what is going on right now in living color on YouTube uh, this is the first time I've seen this. Every single time I've I've opened this, it has been grayed out. Okay, that little thing right there, canvas size, lets you resize the canvas. Uh, has been grayed out every single time, and it's a known bug. Okay, so unfortunately I can't seem to reproduce it. But when you're using Open Tunes, you may find that if you go to, um, in fact, let's try this. Let's let's go ahead and add another drawing and see what happens okay uh, so alright so I'm just gonna move my character up this way because if we were actually using a drawing to simulate the camera move uh, maybe this is how we'd be doing it although that'd be kinda dumb because you can use the animate tool to take the whole <laughs> frame and move it but anyway let's okay so anyway our character's moving in this direction and he's looking in this direction let's see what happens now level yeah see here see how it's grayed out okay the reason it wasn't grayed out before was probably because I had already resized the canvas but this is a big deal because you're gonna bump into this all the time if you ever need to resize the canvas here's the trick it's got something to do with mouse focus if I take my arrow key if I just hover over this and then use my arrow keys and go like that then all of a sudden it comes back to life okay so now my character's anchored there, and let's say I want to make this 1,500 wide, but maybe 3,000 high, because that's kind of how I'm mapping out my camera room. Okay, so now what I can do is I can draw the uh, the mouse that my character has seen stealing his cheese. Okay and if we just stretch this out now it's no problem to say here's my character and now we pan up to our mouse and, and now we can do what we had in mind and keep it all on the same level so if you didn't plan carefully and you made your canvas the wrong size this is how you resize it. In theory, all you do is click level canvas size. In practice, it doesn't actually work unless you mouse over, click a couple times, then go here. Okay, um, I want to give actually a shout out to uh, this guy, Jose Moreno. I got this tip actually here on the Google group from Jose Moreno and, and Jose's Jose's a real good guy uh, who I've s had some contact with him because he was involved with the uh, pencil 2d development I'm sure he still is uh, and so how the heck he 
stumbled on the solution to this problem. I have no idea, but I'm glad that he did. So kudos to Jose. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're sort of trying to map your action uh, in, in such a way that a camera move is part of it, then you're going to want to definitely have this as one of the tools in your toolkit.